Hello YouTubers and welcome to Mud Max Metal Detecting. Right, we're going to go out in the field and have a look at a few short clips from last week. Something nice did come up and we're going to have a look afterwards at the nice find in more detail. I've also got some more details on the gold coin for you and I've got a mystery object. I really want your help because I can't make my mind up if this is old or something a bit more modern. So we'll have a look at what happened out in the field. We'll have a look at the nice find, a quick update, and then can you help me out with a mystery object? Let's get stuck in. Well, there you go. Sitting at depth, but perfectly flat. A shotty that completely fooled the machine, as they often do. Uh, plenty of those on this field. Oh, well. Onwards and upwards. Yeah, yuck! Actually, started to fall apart as I uh, as I picked it up. It started to disintegrate, and uh, yes, quite frankly, I don't care how much it disintegrates because I don't want it. Yuck! Ah, old friend, the button. I'm actually not using the remote at the moment because it's raining. Um, it's much quicker, you don't fiddle around looking at numbers. Lovely mid-tone on that broken button. It's actually raining and it's sunny at the same time, so I think we'll be getting a rainbow. Lovely. Ugh. More tat. Plenty of tat coming up today. At least the sun's come out, even if the tat's coming out. Oh well, you can't have a gold dance every week, can you? Ah, another piece of twisted tin, or aluminium, or something like that. Yeah, it's been one of those days, folks. It really has. But I didn't really expect to get a great deal more off this field. The gold find was very, very random, to say the least. So, yeah. Oh, well. Sometimes you just got to suck it up and carry on. Right, for all you people thinking about getting yourself a dais, but you don't know about the price, it rained. It rained and I detected like that. This really doesn't make a lot of difference. In fact, I don't know why I haven't just left it in my pocket. Once it's set up, that's it. You really don't need it. The tones tell you. And to be perfectly brutally honest, numbers lie anyway. Numbers do lie on all detectors. Um, so if you can't afford one of these, don't worry too much. If you just want to get that, it will serve you very well, especially with the new menus in the earpiece. It's very, very good. This does give you a few more tweaks, but that is still an excellent detector. Deus Light. What the flipping heck is that? What a lump of high conductor. Look how thick it is. No idea what it is. It seems to be broken at the top. Some kind of attachment. But what it did, what it was for, answers on a postcard, please. Uh, please do comment if you've got any idea what on earth that was for. I have not got a Scooby-Doo. Whoa! I think I've just answered the mystery with my very next signal. There's another one of those blocky lumps look on the bottom. So the other bit that I found would have gone on the other side. But that looks like some kind of lock piece in the middle so I can only assume that yeah it's it's some kind of locking mechanism latch thingy oh delightful absolutely delightful well I think I might have a little coin here folks yeah let me clean this up very very gently uh, numbers about 70 for those people who care I find I care less and less about that these days, to be perfectly honest. Right, let's clean it up and have a look. I don't believe it. It's a little Roman. It is a little Roman. Not a lot on that side, but... Oh, there it is. I think it's the two figures standing. It's amazing. I go absolutely forever without finding anything on this field. And then last week, a gold coin, and this week, a Roman. It's coming to life, this field. 
Right, I need to go home and I need to clean this even more for you because it's not coming out very well out here. But it is a little Roman coin. Wow. Well, hey, it's our old friend, the pistol ball. I had a bit of a shortage of these actually on my uh, permission. Used to get absolutely loads. Um, not quite so many of late. But yep, yeah, that's what she is, the old lead ball of death. Okay, here's the little Roman coin. We do have a little bit of detail on this side. I'm not even sure if this is the right way up, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it is worn, which is a real shame because I was hoping that I could date it. Let's have a look at the bust. There is some bust on there. It's not fantastic, I have to say, but there is some bust there. There it is. Not too bad. You can definitely make out an emperor's head and you can see the wreath there on his head, but it is quite worn. Um, so whether we can actually get an idea off that or date it, I think it's going to be very unlikely. But you never know. You never know. But I'm pleased all the same. I don't get many Romans off that permission. So, to be honest, I get very, very little off the whole area. So to get a little Roman this week was a real bonus, to be honest. So there it is. There's this week's Little Roman. <laughs> Okay, mystery object time. Now, at first, I thought that was quite a modern piece. But actually, the pointy end looks quite crude, and it has got quite a lot of points in it. You can see it's full of mud. It would have been, it would have been hollow. I guess that's where the leather would have gone. Um, as you can see at the end there, it appears to have little holes where it would have been attached. So, I think it's half... I'm not sure, but I think it's half of a, of two pieces. But I, I could be wrong. I really could be wrong. I'm stumped. I don't know. These kind of crude little pieces that are jutting up everywhere give it a look of age to me. And the fact that this point here isn't finished off very symmetrically, it's quite crude. It just, the whole thing just has this feeling of crude early working. Um, but I don't know. I really don't know. I could be completely wrong. So I just thought I'd show it to you and say, what do people think? It's those loops at the end that kind of put me off because it looks like something a bit, if you look down this, this end here, it, it looks a little bit later the way it's got the, the loop for a pin. But I don't know. You know, I'm no expert on these kind of um, strap ends and, and little pieces, but it has got lots of little pips on it where you'd imagine it's trying to, push into leather or push into fabric and something about it does shout age to me but then again something else says are you just being a fool what do you think folks let me know okay so there we go folks hope you enjoyed that wherever you are take care stay safe and if you're out in the fields or on the beaches good luck happy hunting and we will see you soon